Before I do anything, I haven't watched this, I haven't read any of this. It's 22 and a half minutes long. Um, improved Railjack. Uh, basically, more accessible avionics to mods. Oh no, the, the really? Okay, um, what's happening to login? No. Login system? You wouldn't. The not. Otherwise, th this is all about Railjack, so why would it even mention the login system? That is just... There is a lot in here. Uh, tactical, piloting, gunnery, engineering, they are changing all of that. And adding the command intrinsics, which will allow you to hire crew members to be part of your Railjack crew. You will have command over them. Hence, it's called command. <laughs> kind of slightly self-explanatory it's not here too much I really don't want to go into this a lot before then what and why does it have a picture of Lotus on it well we're not going to get into spoilers about that one but no I'm assuming no nope, that's not even the glyph the profile picture whatever you want to call it because if you look at the one in the top left that's not the Lotus that's the Lotus that's not Ooh, but it will hold number of new weapons. They are bringing new weapons to it. No shields, but there will be new weapons. The hull component, since health and armor mods can no longer be applied to the real jack itself, the hull will be replacing health and armor. The login part of it, first off, is when they release this, that is going to be 29.10, I think the update was. Uh, to be honest, I kind of skimmed over that part. There's going to be a few big changes. The first one is that we're going to mention is going to be the Plexus. This is going to be a battle tactical mod system that is personal to you. Which is also, on the same time, really kind of weird when you really think about it. They're replacing the existing stuff with mod systems. Uh, what happens on login? Well, everything is basically going to change. My favourite one of all is this, right here. This one picture, oh please don't be standing somewhere silly, I'm not, uh, I'm actually on there. I have been waiting for a long, long time for this terminal to do something, because if you think about it, we have Conclave, News, Syndicates, and unused this is going to become your new terminal that's not the word i was wanting to use but we'll stay with it your gateway to railjack which is great i'm really glad it is finally getting a use because it's been sitting there empty for ages you can go to it head to the configuration of your real jack real jack you can change the plexus from the dry dock or from relays. On that, um, the Dirac is basically being retired. Any dry dock you have will be converted into endo. Yes, we are starting with what is going to happen on login here. Um, if you have 39,000 dry dock to endo, um, it doesn't really say if it's going to be instantly turned into that much. Is it going to be a one-to-one -one basis? Is it going to be something completely different? What is really and hugely important here is the intrinsics. Uh, firstly, I think that is the first and one of the only things a lot of people actually want to know. Yes, you are going to be able to respec all your intrinsics. So let's say you have maxed out tactical, piloting, gunnery and engineering. It means you will be able to configure your railjack, which by the way, you will not need to come here to do. You would have noticed in that picture, configure railjack you can do from your landing craft. There's a reason for that. We'll get back to it in a minute. But if you have, for instance, maxed all of these out and have all of the everything unlocked all the way to rank 10, when command comes that is sitting here but ghosted out on the right side of the screen, you can decide, well, I don't really fly that often, so what I'll do is I'll max out tactical, gunnery, engineering, and command. Or you can decide, I'm just going to max out command straight away and spread the rest across the other four. 
Not to mention the fact that, yes, they are kind of changing what is happening between each rank on tactical, piloting, gunnery, engineering, anyway. So you're going to want to kind of spread that intrinsics around a little bit. You may pause this and read through the changes they are making for each individual one, but sadly, it also says here, um, they do expect to make changes to these. So going into that is kind of, I'm just going to say not worthy at the moment. As for command, when it comes in 29.10, because they've already said they are going to split the next update 30 into two, they're going to release 29.10 first, get that all sorted out, then release update 30. They want update 30 to be on all platforms at the same time, whereas update 29.10 may come on PC first. And I've read through this in different places. They've never said update 29.10 will come to console. It just says PC first, which means once t once all of this new Railjack stuff is kind of sorted, they may just add 29.10 to update 30 for the global release on all platforms. So console just gets everything at once, which was a, what everybody was expecting anyway. So there's no real change there. It just means PC is getting this earlier, basically to kind of debug it. But more than likely, they will at some point release 29.10 for console because, well, I don't think it's quite up, uh, early 2020 when Command was supposed to be coming anymore. I'm not going to get too much onto that either. As for what this says, a lot of what is going to come in Command has basically stayed near enough to what they've said before. You'll be able to hire people to work for you. There's a lot of other stuff, again, because it's not here. I don't really want to go into too much. Already mentioned hull, health and armor mods are not going to be there anymore, which means they're now adding the hull part. Changes to wreckage costs mean that, well, they are reducing the resources required. Meaning, basically, if you completed one tier one wreckage, uh, or clan blueprint, you will receive a rush repair drone, two ornament slots. Not really sure what the ornament slot is offhand, to be fair. Probably do, but can't remember because a lot of other things in my head. Ten riven slivers, that's kind of a huge one. This is where things start to really hurt. And the bonus railjack mods, which varies because if you have built 12 tier 2 wreckages, you will receive 15 slivers on top of what you already get from the first package because you will receive tier what tier 2 package and tier 1 package meaning an additional two repair drones 15 slivers 10,000 credits seven day boosters resource and affinity and a bundle another bundle of railjack mods if you've completed the third one you receive everything in tier 1 and tier 2 and a legendary core and an umbra former I haven't built 30 tier 3 wreckages. This update is not out yet. Um, go build as many tier 3 wreckages as you can. That legendary cause an easy 250 to 300 platinum. If you don't want it, you can always sell it. One thing that kind of got me was the size of this. The exclusive clan railjack monument. Um, that's a frame standing next to the thing. I don't know many rooms that will fit in in your dojo. That is nuts. Definitely can't go on your uh, landing craft, your orbiter, which, well, I'm glad it's not that size. That definitely wouldn't fit inside of a dojo. Then there's this map. They don't, well, they do go into showing it, but I'm not playing the video. Um, first off, the entire inside of your, your real jack is smaller. Look at the size of it. You used to be able to go all the way into the back. It's much smaller. For the record, I always forget the button you have to hold down to bring up that map because those little points on there are basically teleportation points you can go to. But it is a single smaller space, meaning that you can get around it quickly, much more quickly. As for uh, we're not really going to get too much into the rest of it and the damage types because some things have to be kept simply for when this update comes. Well, there is the Earth Proxima, Proxima the Saturn one, the Veil one, 
and well it basically says the corpus railjack is coming with this the robots crewmen blah 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 make it short uh pluto and neptune which means it's finally releasing two more but with this update is going to come the whole corpus expansion that's going to bring two entirely new planets which will be great as new mission types will also turn up defense uh, <laughs> and exterminate it is actually mentioned in that video if we come down to the bottom of the page update 29.10 will be coming in the next two weeks sorry it will be released in two weeks the technically makes it spring because the first day of spring is the 20th of March and update 30 will still be released globally and update 29.10 will not come to console it will be included in the update 30 it just depends what you listen to what you read and what everything else is as to when update 30 is officially going to be late but it means that if they're basically kind of bringing all the real jack stuff to PC now, it means the rest of the Call of Tempest story can't be that far off, and it just needs all of the real jack debug stuff to be able to get it ready so they don't have the delay on console that has come more than once. Let's not forget that the Switch was delayed by a day or two, actually I don't even think it was two, it was delayed by a few hours because of a small little bug on something earlier. So, next two weeks for PC, and hopefully not long after. I would say, have to say possibly a month or more, which puts it into April easily, before possibly even May, update 30 turns up. Hopefully it comes out in April, that's all I'm going to say. The sooner the better for this, because the new frame does not look that bad, but with Lavos being that good, the kind of expecting the next frame to not be as good don't know again a lot of this stuff you can't really go into too much until you can actually use it explore it play with it so really looking forward to this update 29.10 that brings all of the real jack changes to me the big one is simply these two nodes here pluto and neptune even though pluto is a placeholder extra places to play the command intrinsics the change to adding the hull and getting rid of the health and armor mods. Hopefully, this doesn't ruin Railjack. It shouldn't. It should all make it a lot, lot better, including adding the whole Railjack upgrade section, the Plexus, as it was called. But I think for now, we'll leave this off here. Again, link to this whole forum post will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.